Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. So uh, I thought I would go ahead and make introduction and uh, talk about what to expect from my channel while we walk around and you know get a once over of my uh, my project car. So my name is Ben, um, and I've had this car for a little over a year, and I'm new to the whole Toyota world. Um, but not to automotive, uh, 20, oh, about 22 years ago, I, I went through, did the whole college track and then I went tech school, automotive service tech, uh, started in getting into automotive, working in shops. Um, but even before that, you know, when I was a kid, my or not really a kid. When I was a kid, my dad had a a, a silk screening business. He was uh, doing shirts uh, on the side, and you right around high school, I'd say he flipped the script and opened up um, a motorcycle shop, working on Harleys, building Harleys, uh, and so I kind of grew up with that and in. in it through my teen years and I left got out on my own so anyways yeah I've got a lot of experience in the automotive world um, working in independent shops you know after you do tech school and all that there's different tracks and some people go and uh, go the dealership route and I didn't you know the other route was you know, you always, no matter where you go, you start at the bottom. So you're going to be uh, lube tech, whatever, uh, whatever the dirty stuff is. That's what you're going to be doing. And, 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 you know, everybody does that. Regardless of what your past experience is technically, um, you know, yeah, lube tech, brake jobs. Uh, oh, I worked in a transmission shop, so... You know, you spend your whole day uh, removing and replacing transmissions. Yeah, really getting getting dirty, having a lot of fun. But there's still a lot you learn in that. Well, automotive is not where I made my fortune. Um, you know, I I found fairly early on that. Uh, Making a living in automotive, just your your general track was not very good. You know, you gotta you gotta get in, and you gotta be in it for a long time for most people to make good money. And I discovered that within several weeks, really, that I could make more than double what I was making in the automotive world in trucking. So for the last, oh, I don't know, coming on 17, 18 years now, I've been doing trucking and uh, most of that, I was an over the road truck driver. 2017, I came off the road and now I do local stuff. And when I came off the road, so my wife and I had to basically reestablish roots and uh, build a different life. So we settled down in Oregon. I uh, got a one bedroom apartment and yeah, I started reacquiring tools and uh, getting back interested into cars again. And um, well, let's, let's have a look at my car. So here it is as it, currently sits 2006 Scion XB and I know it looks black but it's not the the paint code is what is that 8 P8 it's a blue onyx pearl can't really see it's kind of still dark out this morning And if you watched my previous video, you already saw 
what it looked like when I first got it a little over a year ago yeah acorn nuts those uh, grease caps and the little TRD stickers obviously I lost a uh, one of the chrome beauty rings anyway this is actually only my second Toyota product ever you know most of my life I had American cars yeah, I've already changed the tail lights here So my first car, we still, my first Toyota, I should say, uh, we still have. It's a 2012 Toyota Camry Hybrid, and that'll be on this channel. I'm doing a little bit of stuff, not as much as I will be doing to this car. You know, part of the build on this is... The style I'm going for is, as I've, I've mentioned in my previous video, is a little bit along the lines of the VIP style. Um, let's see here. I've already got curtains in here, front and back. But I don't want to lose functionality of this as well. You know, oh, well, I might as well pop the hatch here. Now we see I got tools in here. I said this is my daily and my project all in one. And, uh, <laughs> it's a mess excuse the mess but yeah floor jack down there and I got tools in here I got I got parts in here now this will all be a lot of this will be revealed in future videos of what's going on some of what you're gonna see is your basic bolt-on stuff that every XB owner does practically but I definitely have some surprises up my sleeves that y'all will be interested in, I'm sure. And <laughs> I spent too much money on this when I bought it. But because I have full maintenance records, low mileage, uh, clean title, basically dealer maintained is worth it, I think. And, <laughs> you know, the stuff I'm doing to this car, I have, I know I'm not going to get my money out of it, but that's not the point. I'm, I'm having fun. I'm, you know, I like to do my own thing. And... my entire life I won't say my entire life a lot of times in my life I've heard the basically the phrase you can't get there from here and that relates to you can't go from point A to point B or point A to point C there's things you can't do and I have often dug deeper to find out why. Are people just parroting what they've heard from others? That you can't do this, it can't be done. Or did, uh, you know, was there not enough follow-through? It wasn't an easy 
way to get from point A to point B. So you thought, oh, well, you can't get there from here. You know, as a teen, with my dad having a, a motorcycle shop, I had a lot of parts around, you know, home, actually, because, yeah, the we actually converted our garage into a storefront business, butted up steel buildings in the back for the machine shop. Yeah, we had parts everywhere. And I had time. So I would I would see things in parts when you have parts been sitting around. I would try to piece different parts from different motorcycles together like a puzzle. Um, and I found that you know, early on there that in manufacturing, the whole, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, they do that. They'll use parts oftentimes across platforms. So you can do different things. Um, sometimes big, sometimes small. But ways of, you know, making a vehicle your own. And it's, it's got, you know, your own personality in there. And it's something I like to, it, it's, this is, for me, I, this is stuff I like to do, you know, figuring it out. I don't, I didn't, what I didn't, part of what I didn't like with the automotive track is, okay, well, so you do brake jobs all day or you swap out transmissions all day there's no flavor there. There's no spice. Well, I mean, transmissions, you might be switching out transmissions from a variety of vehicles. Um, but yeah, I, I like, I like doing things my way, uh, figuring things out, trying things, experimenting. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, so in this channel, I will be doing maintenance stuff as well as, you know, I don't want to say I want to, I, I, I don't want to do a how-to video. What I want to do is, I want to explore and I want to show you and, and document for anybody, everybody, myself as well, how I did it. Not how you do it, how you're supposed to do it. But how I did it and how I either how I succeeded and how I failed you know that's you know that's very important failure is very important because you learn so much more when you fail at something uh, and especially if you fail and you try a different way if there's a different way so that's kind of the journey that I'm on um There's going to be a lot of Scion XB, first generation Scion XB content. Uh, yeah, I live in a, in a one bedroom apartment with my wife and two cats. You can't work on your car at the complex, they'll evict you. So I'm at work and, you know, I work late night. So it's early morning. I just got off work. Um, they don't hassle me really. They, as long as I'm out of their way, I get a little bit of space to, to work on my cars. I don't really try to push it too much, you know? So I'm hoping here soon to basically have a garage to work out of and that'll be a lot better for creating content too. So got my fingers crossed on that. Uh, and it, that opens a door to different things that I can do as well. Plus, I can be all sniffly and uh, have maybe have some better lighting. Um, the other thing is, you know, when you work in an apart, you're living in an apartment trying to work on your car, you gotta you gotta have all your tools. You obviously you gotta acquire tools. They gotta be packed up. 
in your vehicle, like here, I gotta have my the tools, my parts, bring them to work. Then after work, work on the car, spread everything out that you need to spread out to do what you gotta do and then put it all away. Whereas if you have a shop, you have a garage, you can walk away and your tools are there, right? Your parts, it's all laid out and you can come back and you can pick up right where you are. You don't have to, you know, spread it out, then pick it back up and go somewhere else and come back and yeah. It makes it a whole lot easier. But I do have content already. I've, I've got videos created where uh, I do exactly that. And spread it all out and get on the ground and get all dirty and I put it all back together and go home. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think some of y'all will identify with trying to work on your car in difficult situations. Um, and how I manage it, which you manage it by doing it. I mean, that's, that's all you can do is just do it. It's not, there's no easy way. Anyway, wow. I really, uh, really ramble on. I'm, I apologize, but I'm excited for this this channel. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've got other projects for this car. You know, yeah, as you know, this only has a 1.5 liter, 108 horsepower engine, and. Oh, Some of the stuff, ooh, that's bright. Ooh. Some of the stuff I got planned is to, see, I'm not gonna boost this engine. There's no way. Um, that's a lot of money for not a lot. I don't know. I wanna go a different route. I wanna go a different route. Uh, with this engine, I'm going to do a lot as far as bolt-on, but um, I want to try to do what I can in bolt-ons and stuff to free up the existing power in this engine to put it on the ground. And I've got some, what I think is some um, nifty ideas to do that, and that's what I'm going to be exploring how that all pans out. And, um, you know, I hope you all are along for the ride. Because, uh, I mean, and if you're not, you're not. That's that's cool. Uh, I'm excited. I, I, this is... Uh, this is uh, a great joy. It's a great joy working on this car. Because... Yeah, Toyota, well, you work on the car and then grab your, grab your key. You uh, turn it on. And then the Bluetooth on your stereo connects to your phone and freezes up your uh, recording. But uh, yeah, anyway, what I was saying is you, you fire it up and it starts up and it runs every time. So, uh, yeah, a project, a future project that I want to do on this. So we are, already know that the XB is the left-handed drive version of the Toyota BB. And Toyota's BB, the BB stand stood for black box I believe it was what they were calling it so my engine idea I'm kind of piggybacking on the BB and I'm calling I, I will be calling it project big block and I don't mean an American big block I mean a Toyota big block uh, a four-cylinder big block engine swap into this and that's a future that's a future plan 
but yeah, I gotta get a lot of gotta get a lot of pieces together for that. Um, definitely has to have um, an aftermarket ECU. So it's exciting, and some of the stuff that that you're gonna see in uh, upcoming videos is in preparation for Project uh, BB. So, <laughs> yeah, no, my, my, my brain's, uh, I've got projects with a ton of um, sub projects that I'm all trying to organize in my head. It's like the headliner's coming out. The headliner's coming out because I'm doing um, dome lights in here. I'm also going to be doing a roof rack which I think y'all will enjoy. I have wiring to, to put in up here because I'm gonna have a, a backup camera in here. Yeah, just so try to sort everything. Just just in that, there's a, there's a lot going on right there. And um, I have parts, I have so many parts. I have a storage unit with parts. Uh, I have I still have all the stock parts I took off of this car uh, in bins and storage. And I haven't decided, you know, what I'm going to do with that. Am I going to put those parts on eBay? Uh, am I going to hang on to them? I don't know. Like this, the stock radio, the stock radio that was in this, I think you can find them on eBay, 20, 30 bucks, something like that. They're really not worth much. They're not worth much to me either. Is it worth hanging on to, though? I don't think so. Some of that stuff, maybe, because I know some people are going to be trying to get parts to go back to stock on their box. And it's like, you know, where this car came from, from Portland, Oregon, uh, Vancouver, Washington area. You know, I'm about... Oh, let me... I am about, yeah, there we go. Ooh, almost 4 a.m. But almost 80,000 miles on the odometer. Yeah. So almost 80,000 miles on the odometer. And these parts I'm taking off. Um, oh, like my, uh, my axle back. You know, I'll have to show it in a, a future video or something. I'll have to do a, um, a parts. I'll have to do a parts bin dive through all the parts that I came off that came off of this, and show you all what they look like. Um, you know, yeah. I like I said, I spent too much money on this car, but taking parts off of this car, the nuts, the bolts, so easy. Almost like the the car still brand new. So it, it, to me, it was worth the expense because I got a great quality car. You know, I got, a, you know, yeah, a great quality car to begin my project on instead of something rusted out and just hammered down, you know, beat on. You know, with the Carfax, I could see how many miles in the last few years weren't put on when the when when all the mileage occurred on this um yeah so anyway i'm done convincing anybody about my car i i, I convinced myself so and here it is here we are yeah oh my gosh i'm gonna go home uh I, if you made it this long into the video I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah. Maybe it's going to be more of an exciting adventure for me than it is for you. Um, I hope not. I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get inspired by what I'm doing with my car. So that, um, you know, maybe you'll do some, something on yours. Um... Yeah, maybe uh, maybe you'll customize your car. You'll see, oh, I want to do that or something like that. Maybe you'll 
come up with something completely different that nobody else is doing. That's awesome right there. When you're doing something that nobody else is doing, it's totally yours. But so is changing out your steering wheel, putting a putting your own. I can't, I can't even bring that in. You know, I leather wrap this myself. I got the leather wrap and I stitched it all. Can we see? There we go. Yeah, there you go. You know, I, I did that myself in my living room. I took off the old steering wheel. I'm actually, actually, and I think about it, I'm not, I took off the old steering wheel and it sat in storage for a little bit. And I thought, well, what am I going to do with this? Nothing. And who wants a stock steering wheel? I don't think anybody does really. What if I could do something to add value to that? So what I did is, and I'm about midway through with that, is um, I got a, a leather wrap for that steering wheel. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm halfway through wrapping that. I think maybe I'll have to do a video on that so that y'all can see how to do it. Because I've still got the, the top half to stitch up. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. I mean, so uh, yeah, my thought with that is I am probably going to wrap it and I don't know, put it on eBay, see what uh, see what what I can fetch for it, you know, see what it's worth to somebody else. Because it's um, I did um. I'll, I'll save the the color. I'll save that for the video so y'all can see. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, to the right person, a hand-stitched leather wrap steering wheel is worth something, especially once you once you see this. So, you know, and, and you know, maybe if you know who who did the work, whose craftsmanship it is. That adds value, I guess. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully, uh, I didn't ramble on too long for you. Yeah. All right, we're out of here. Uh, do me a favor if you if you if you're interested in my content, if you're in, interested in the the first gen Scion XB Toyota BB NCP31 content. Go ahead and uh, hit subscribe and like the videos. All right, I'll see you next one. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. I'm trying to, with my content, with the with the Scions, I'm trying to attempt to reinvigorate the, the Toaster Tuesdays that Brandon from over there at uh, Extreme Daily Drivers started. Or did he start that or is he continuing it? I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm new to to Toyota, the Toyota Sphere, and I've had this Scion for a little over a year, so it could go back further. I don't know. But anyway, I'm trying to bring back Toaster Tuesday content to YouTube. So anyway, I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.